How you doing, folks? I'm raising my family here. My parents raised their family here, and their parents raised their family here. It's a place that I like to call home, and uh, hopefully this is where I'll remain. Cleveland, Tennessee is beautiful. Known as the city with spirit. You can't swing a ball bat without hitting a church. A lot of people know one another, and we do have a lot of older homes and a lot of history here. I'm very proud of our town. Hello. Hey. I've been a hairdresser for over 30 years. Do you have certain clients that you kind of click with and you're closer to? And for me, Marsha was one of those clients. She was fun. She was outgoing. Marsha was one of my favorite cousins. She did confide in me and I confided in her. She was beautiful. She was always kind. She loved her husband. She mentioned him every time. When I think of her, my first few words would not be giving loving. I didn't see a lot of that from her, even as her stepdaughter. How would you describe her? Loner. I believe that she was very depressed. A case that sounds like a 48 hours mystery. Bradley County woman disappears without a trace. It struck me. Oh my goodness, she's, you know, she's not been in. That is odd. And I said, you know, what time do they? She's overdue. When Marcia disappeared in June of 2009, her husband, Donnie Brantley, did not report her missing. It's hard seeing my father in this way. It's a scary thing. I know the inside of this man and the heart of him. He wouldn't hurt anyone. He loved her. Yes. And they had a real marriage. Yes. During the years of your marriage, am I correct that you maintained romantic and relationships with persons other than your wife? Upon advice of counsel, I plead the fifth. We have a guy who's told numerous lies about where his wife went, and we can prove otherwise. He may be the singularly most dishonest defendant I've ever dealt with. Authorities have not located Marsha's body, but were able to charge her husband with premeditated first-degree murder based on evidence. I think we have a great circumstantial case. There's no blood, no fingerprints, no DNA, no body, and there's no crime scene. What proof is there that she's in fact dead, as opposed to gone missing or living someplace else? I felt compelled to find out what happened to her. I knew that something was very, very wrong. He murdered her. He murdered her. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. Charging you with first degree murder. Do you understand what the charge is? It's just not him. He's 100% innocent of these charges. If he did do something to her, and if I just let this go, he'll get away with it.